All right, I think I think I'm in. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're in. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, there we go. Can you hear me? I was wondering. I was having some trouble figuring okay. that out. I guess first, I was confused by what you hey, were saying. Still... Okay, that's, that's my fault. My bad. Uh, no worries. But, uh, okay. Hey, I really do appreciate you doing this, man. It would just mean a lot. Sure. So, uh, hey, the first thing I do. Uh, there's going to be Ole Miss fans watching this video. There's going to be people from all over the country watching this video. Uh, so first, just kind of introduce yourself to what you put Ole Miss and just kind of tell any kind of information you want to tell. Yeah. So uh, I'm Gary Wunderlich. I was the Ole Miss kicker from 2014 to 2017. Uh, miss it a lot. Currently live in Nashville. Been working uh, with an asset management firm here for the last three years. Uh, happy to be here. Okay, so I do want to ask you a question, and this is a question I love asking everybody. What was the top three or top five schools you were considering out of high school? Top three was, other than Ole Miss, it was Virginia and Texas A&M. Those were the two other schools that I had scholarship offers from. Uh, I was at one point committed to Virginia for about three months uh, until Ole Miss came in and offered me a scholarship uh, a few months after that. That's when I made the uh, made the switch. Okay, so why was Ole Miss a choice? Just growing up in Memphis, um, being close. My stepdad went there. Uh, grew up going to yeah. games with him. Uh, had a lot of family connections with UVA. Um, so that's why I was kind of drawn to UVA at first, uh, but really fell in love with Ole Miss. Uh, growing up, going to Oxford, going to games. And right around that time, you know, 2013 is when we got that really big recruiting class. Momentum was, yeah, was rolling, was, rolling down there. So I was, uh, I was pretty excited about that, and I uh, wanted to be a part of it. Okay, so what was your favorite game or favorite memory of being at Ole Miss? Man, that's tough. There were there were a lot of good ones. Uh, the the two Alabama wins in 14 and 15 got to be up oh, yeah. there. Uh, you got to throw the pe or not the pe not the Peach Bowl, uh, the Sugar Bowl. That went yeah. a lot of fun. That was I think that was massive for our program. And then uh, junior year at A and M, I had a, a game winning field goal. That one sticks out. And then the very last game of my career, Mississippi State, going out on top there. Um, those were some some great times. Oh, yeah, yeah, love beating State. Yep. Okay, so you played on your coach, Hugh Freeze, Coach Luke as well. What was your favorite memory, or if you have some kind of funny story of one of those coaches, I'd love to hear. Oh, man. So, I don't know if you remember, uh, we were playing Bama in 14, I guess. Um, we uh, That was my first game to actually kick a field goal. Um, I'll never forget it. It was yeah. first points of the yeah, game. I remember so I started kicking the field goals, and then it, the game kind of uh, – well, we finally – we scored to go up, up by a yeah. touchdown. And I came in, and I hit the upright on the extra point. I got roughed, so it didn't – it technically didn't count. But then uh, we ended up putting our other kicker back in, and that one got blocked. So I was sitting over there nervous on the sideline, like, oh, my gosh, like, I think I just lost us this game. But luckily, Sinquez, uh was able to make that interception. But anyway, the next week, oh, yeah. Coach Freeze was like, I just just make the extra point. We sat in practice and instead of kicking field goals, we kicked extra points the entire time. I mean we didn't we didn't scoot back from there at all. We literally spent, you know, the whole special teams period kicking extra points. And then we went to A and M the next week and uh I actually hit the upright again. This one went in and I thought Coach Freeze was gonna kill me. Um, but then from there on out I you know, I felt like I, had, I was pretty solid, but uh, that one always sticks out with Freeze. Coach Luke, I'm trying to think. Um, and I just always enjoyed being around Coach Luke. Easy to talk to. Always you know, joking yeah. around. I was having a good time. Uh, definitely a lot different when it comes to specialists, I would say, uh, between uh, Coach Luke and Coach Freeze. Coach Freeze was always on me. Coach Luke was you know, always kind of, you know, it's, if I missed one, he was always, it's you know, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Coach Freeze would, yeah. would cut me in slack. Okay, so I do want to ask you another question. You know, right now, Ole Miss is 3-0 on the season. How do you think Ole Miss will finish the season? 
Oh man. I mean, sitting here as a fan, you know, I want to say like 11 and one or something crazy, but I think realistically probably nine and three, um, you know, if I had to put money on it, uh, but I mean, they're, they're a fun team to watch. It's, it's exciting stuff. And I'm sure everybody agrees that, you know, this is a lot of fun. I actually was in Oxford this past weekend, um, you know, putting up 60 points, you know, pretty much in three quarters. I mean, that's, you know, it's, it's fun yeah, to watch. It's a lot of fun. Um, oh, yeah. You know, we'll see what happens when we start playing SEC teams. It's a lot more difficult playing, you know, on the road, you know, especially in Tuscaloosa. Oh, yeah, um, and then going to Auburn later in the month of October. I mean, it's going to be difficult. Uh, but, you know, we've, we've got some good players and good coaches, so it's going to be fun to watch. Oh, yeah. So, okay, so – what do you think about Matt Corral? What do you think his uh, chances of winning the Heisman is? Yeah, I think he's awesome. He's a stud. Uh, he's such a good player. He makes so many plays, you know, not only with his arm, but as we saw last weekend with his feet. Um, you know, I feel like he's he's grown a lot mentally. Um, yeah. You know, so I, far, I, I feel like he's made a lot, uh, you know, a lot better decisions. Um, you know, so I hope he can keep that up. You know, Heisman wise. I don't know. I feel like the national media will end up, you know, one Alabama's quarterback or somebody else to win it. But, you know, he's definitely set himself up pretty good right now. Uh, there's still a long way to go, but I think he's definitely got a shot. Yeah, I, th- I think he does, too. Um, I think that's all the questions I have for you. I don't want to keep you too long, man. Really do appreciate you doing this. Hotty toddy, yeah, brother. No. Yeah, hotty toddy. Okay, you have a good one. You as well. Bye.